SEMS look at the corporate network and identify questionable activities. To do this, they take an external data to help find patterns indicative of malicious behavior. This is supposed to make life easier for threat analysts. Now there are plenty of free sources willing to give you plenty of data for your SEM. Problem is, not all of their indicators are necessarily malicious. SEMS don't automatically know the difference between the questionable, the malicious, and the ones that just made someone somewhere go, hmm. And that just means more red flags for the threat analyst to address. When it comes to data, more does not equal better. Only better data equals better results. The right data can make the SEM more productive. The more accurate the data, the more productive your SEM. That's where we come in. InfoBlox data is fully vetted through selective sourcing, proprietary algorithmic validation, and in the case of questionable indicators, even human verification. Our false positive rate is less than 0 .0001. If your SEM finds questionable activities using InfoBlox data, the chances are very high that something malicious is going on. Now that's a red flag worth paying attention to. You can get our data in comma-separated values, JavaScript object notation, and common event format files. You can also set up the SEM to access InfoBlox data via the Active Trust platform using API calls. If you need to access other high-quality sources in addition to InfoBlox data, it's likely available through ActiveTrust. Feeds from CrowdStrike, Siren, ThreatWave, Serval, and ThreatTrack are already available this way, and more quality providers are coming soon. Connect once, access as many as you require.